right, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on in. All right, this is Pastor Darlene Bell, co-pastor of Exciting Life Christian Center, along with my beautiful sister, Pastor Sarah Riddle Taylor. This service here is a highlight of today's service, October 10th, 2021. Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way, have your way, oh God, show up, show out in the sermon. Yeah, have your way. Somebody need, somebody need a miracle, Lord, with a miracle. Somebody say they need a little strength, Lord, here's strength right now. Somebody needs joy, you the glory, and the lifter of the Lord, yeah. Moved by your spirit, somebody need a healing, heal, Lord, heal, Lord. Have your way in this service. Yeah. Amen and amen. Get your Bibles, get your Bibles, get your iPads, whatever you're going to take notes with. I am going to give highlights from Storm Proofing Your House, Your Spiritual House. Slash, you've been in the storm too long. Come on. Time to come out. This is part five. Joyful, joyful. Lord, we're doing God glory. And you're the Lord of love.
Jesus washed. He washed all of my sins. Why time is no. Amen. The Lord is blessing you. Woo. Blessing you and me right now. Get your Bibles. Whoa, right now. The Lord bless me right now. Right now. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my woman. The Lord, the Lord said, man, relax, chill on the most time. The Lord, 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 blessing me right now. Oh, he's blessing me and you right now. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for this word going to go forth in power. And Lord, we thank you that as your woman of God, I will not miss it to the left or to the right, but I'll be right on target. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, speak for me. Bless everyone that hears this word. Bless, strengthen, bless, strengthen, in Jesus' name, make whole. Amen. Amen, amen. Woo! Say, this is my Bible. Come on. It's the Word of God. Woo. My page is falling off, but that's a good thing. I've been using a lot. I can do what it says I can do. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can have what it says I can have. I can have an abundance. No lack, because my God supplies all my need. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I am what it says I am. I'm a child of God. Walking in victory in every area of my life. In Jesus, I say, I'm the victor. Come on. Not the victim. I'm victorious. Say, I'm an overcomer. Say it. And I'm not overcome. Come on now. In Jesus' name. Nay, in all these things, I'm more than a conqueror. How? Through him that loved me. And I can do all things, how? Through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. And the Lord is my shepherd. I have no lack. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. How about you? Amen. We have been on a series, and this is just a highlight of Excite Life Christian Center service online every Sunday, Facebook Live at 1 o'clock. Amen. This is just a few highlights. Amen, amen, and amen. Title of this sermon is Stormproofing Your Spiritual House. You've been in a storm too long. It's for two audiences. Now, listen, as a saint of God, you don't wait until the storm comes to start trying to build your house. Can you imagine trying to build a house in a hurricane or a tornado? It's likely, but I think impossible. Amen? Amen. And then those that have been in a storm and a storm and so child, come on out. Time for you to come out. And you will come out with the help of the Lord. Woo! Shake it off. Hallelujah. 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 This is part five. I'm going to give a quick review. Our theme scripture is, let me go back to this theme scripture. Matthew. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get the, here it is. Matthew 7, 14 through 27. Matthew 7, no, let me correct that, 24 through 27. See how easy that was to correct? If you make a mistake in life, just correct it. Say, okay, Lord, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and you start over. Matthew 7, 24 through 27 says, Therefore, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man that built his house upon a rock. So you hear the word, you do the word. You are on the rock. You hear the word, you do the word. You're on the rock. This is Jesus. He says, and the rain descended, the floods came. The winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not. He didn't say, oh, you're just going to tiptoe through the tulips. 
But he said, it did not fall. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Who say, I stand on the rock. I'm not going to fall. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It fell not because it was founded upon a rock. And I would say that rock is Jesus. Now, this is just review. Verse 26 of Matthew 7. And everyone that hear these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. Say, I'm not foolish. Foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Means you hear the word, you go to church. Oh, you take notes, but you don't do it. You don't apply it. You've got to apply it. You've got to stand firm and believe it. Glory to God. He says, I'm going to liken everyone that hear the words. You don't do them. You'll be like the foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Verse 27, the rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat upon the house. Great was the fall of it. Because I've heard some people say, oh, I was better off before I went to church. No, because your word was being tested. And you look, God is not going to leave you, not going to forsake you. Trust him. You'll be okay. Amen. So try it again. Amen. If you're discouraged, try it. Just try it one more time. Amen. Try it one more time. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Amen. So let's go through a little review. This is part five. Part one. And you know, many times the word said so we can compare spiritual things to natural. So when people live in areas that's known for hurricanes or tornadoes or, you know, real, we talking about shown up storms, they prepare. They storm proof their house. So what do they do? Number one, in the natural, this is just a quick, quick, quick review. They install hurricane windows. So with heavy uh, fronts that resist Heavy frames that resist. And James 4, let me give the spiritual a comparison. 4 and 7 says, commit or submit to God. Amen. Or submit under authority of God. Resist the devil, he shall flee from you. So you've got to get strong. So when the enemy comes, say, nope, I bind you. I resist you in Jesus' name. And you're up under authority of Jesus. He's got to go. Amen. Don't, don't sit at his table. Don't accept invitations to pity parties. No. And don't have pet devils. Amen. That's another lesson. All right. Number two. Strengthen your roof. And the upper part of that's the, in the natural, but in the spiritual, your top part, your mind. Strengthen your mind. If you if you are a person, only you know you. But if you're struggling with negativity, Ask God to help you. Every negative thought is from, that's not from Jesus. Amen. Don't talk yourself out your blessing. Don't always think the worst, but always think the best. And, and hope in God. What about hoping it doesn't come? What about if you hoping it does? Hello, see? So this is just review. Amen. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians 10, if I casting down false imaginations and everything that would come against the word of God. Amen. And sometimes just regular things in life. God's word says I'm healed. Then I'm healed. I'm not telling you not to go to the doctor. But Lord, your word says I'm healed. Your word says I'm protected. Your word says you redeem me from the curse of law. Your word says it, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you crown me with tender mercies. Your word says you would renew my youth. Now all those benefits in Psalm 1 and 3. Child, go to the handbook and read. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Four, raise your house structure. That's in the natural. They'll many times build the house up really high. Well, in the in the spiritual, raise your praise. Amen. Amen. Raise your, your time with the Lord. Raise your, um, your time in the Word. It, it take little doses. If you have to take a little dose here and there. You know, open that book that's called the Bible. Amen. Start with the book of John. Read maybe five verses a day. I don't understand it. Lord, help me to understand. And then watch good Christian programs. Watch good shows like this. YouTube, Pastor Darlene Bell. Make sure you subscribe, too. Have your friends subscribe, too. Because some people don't maybe want to go on other social medias, but they like YouTube. Subscribe for Pastor Darlene Bell. I pull plug in. Amen. Amen. But this is a review. Raise your praise. Raise your expectation. Now, verse 5, not verse, but 
part five on today on the series that storm proofing your house. You've been in storm too long. Come on, come on out, come on out. And in the natural, have generators and backup batteries just in case of a power outage. With spiritually, keep your spiritual battery charged and infused with the word of God. Don't talk yourself out your blessing. Don't have double-mindedness. You know, we pray. Oh, here, here we are. Take your burdens to the Lord, leave them there. Trust God, never doubt. He will bring you out. Take your burdens to the Lord, leave them there. You know, the spirit is flowing. Oh, yes, Lord. Take my burdens. Then when you get up from the altar, oh, wait, Lord, here, give my burdens back. No. Know that God is working on your behalf. Be specific, woman. Be specific, man. God is a miracle worker. With God, all things are possible. God is doing it for you right now. Glory to God. So, have generators and backup batteries. Have your spiritual battery charged. You know, many of us, I would say majority of people now have cell phones. Even the little ones have, have cell phones. Amen. But if you keep using that cell phone, the battery's going to go low. And I know sometimes I'll look at the battery, stop talking to my daughters or my sons, amen. And I, it says, it's flashing, oh, 10%. I said, oh, I'll get it. I'm thinking, well, I'm, no, 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 we just talk, talk, talk. And then it goes up, I said, ah, I'll get it. And we just talking, you get ready to get to that main point. Oh, let me tell you what the Lord shared. Hello? 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 <laughs> and it goes out because all I had to do was plug it up. Hello. So keep your spiritual, that was in the natural, keep your spiritual battery sharp, plugged up. Amen. God's not telling you to be like, oh, so heavenly might have no earthly good. No, but keep your spiritual battery charged. How do you do it, Pastor? Hang around with believers. Amen. Infuse yourself with good church services. Whatever you feel comfortable, you feel comfortable with the physical, go. You comfortable with online, God got plenty of online. And I highly recommend Excited Like Christian City, Pastor Darlene Bell. Go to my page, Facebook, one o'clock. Amen, amen. Right now, all our services are online. But listen, my friend, they're good Christian television show. It's, and read yourself. You can get, put earphones in. They have the word of God. You can peer word. So, it's, it's ways now, my friend. And spend time with God. Talk to God. Just like, look, you're looking at me, right? I'm looking at you. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. That's how you talk to God. Just talk to him. So, don't have a double-mindedness. Have backup. Charge your batteries. Have a good prayer part. Pray and touch and agree. Glory to God. Don't be inconsistent either. Amen. You got to be consistent. It says, James 1 and 8 says, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. James 1 and 5, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. When you ask God, Lord, give me wisdom, he's not going to say, Oh, I gave you wisdom, child. Two weeks ago, get out of here. No, he'll give it to all men, liberally, all women. He'll give it to you because he is wisdom. Lord, I need wisdom in my relationships. Lord, I need wisdom in my ministry. Lord, I need wisdom as a mother. I need wisdom as a grandmother. I need wisdom as a pastor. Lord, I need wisdom to really have this business of mine. Flourish, Lord. I need your wisdom how to stay healthy. I need your wisdom for this, that. Hallelujah. Come on, ask God. He'll give it to you right now. Right now, right now, right now. Lord, we thank you for the spirit of wisdom. Wisdom in every area of our life. Wisdom, Lord. What to say, what not to say. Wisdom when you speak and when not to speak. Wisdom, God help us. Wisdom, Lord. Wisdom, Lord. Hallelujah. So we be a wise woman or wise man. Wisdom of God. Ooh, the spirit of wisdom is here right now. And Lord, I'll take it. Ooh, 
Jesus is a good word. Hallelujah. So don't be inconsistent. Ask for God for wisdom. James tells us he'll give it to everybody liberally. He will not, you know, upbraid or hold back. It says, now when you ask, ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavered is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind that is tossed. And let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. Amen. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So, Lord, whoever is double-minded, help, Lord. Help, help. Help, Lord. You know, when somebody in the Bible said, Lord, help my unbelief. Lord, help me. Help me, I believe. Hey, yeah. And there's another part. It's going to be a part six. Amen. But listen, my friend, if your house isn't built on the rock, you can build on the rock right now. In the name of Jesus, times like these, we need a Savior. Times like these, we need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure your anchor holds. Your anchor holds. And grips the silence. The rock is real. Come on to Jesus, my friend. Come on, come on. Oh, he's the one. Woo! And you say, well, how do I get saved? According to Romans 10, 9 and 10, it simply says, if you will confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, well, I feel his presence. Believe in your heart to God. Woo, raise him from the dead, you shall be saved. I prayed this prayer before. Pray it again. Come on. Come on, pray it. Mean it. Make sure your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You're going to spend eternity somewhere, either heaven or hell. Amen. Don't be fooled. One day, see how we're looking? I'm looking at you again. That's how you're going to face Jesus. And you want to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful in a few things. Well, I'm going to make you rule over many. But I don't. you don't want to say, I know you not be part for me. Hey, he's your savior now, but then he'll be your judge. Come on, pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe Jesus Christ is the son of God. He died on the cross. Come on, say it. Just for me. I've been the only person on this earth. He still would have died. They put him in the grave. He's no longer there because he has a risen. He's alive right now. Come on, every woman, man, boy, girl, pray this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Come into my life. Save me, Lord. Save me. Save me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. I need your help, oh God. I want you to be Lord of my life, but I need help. Save me. I give my all to you. Lord, you are now my Lord, my Savior, and my Master. According to your word right now, very moment born again, as Pastor Sarah would say, we'll cultivate them in things of the Lord. Send good pastors after their own heart, in Jesus' name. What now? Find you a good Bible-believing church? Of course, I highly recommend Sight My Christian Center. Amen. My email address is, or our email address is, Pastor Darlene Bell at gmail.com. Pastor Darling Bell at gmail.com. Amen. If you want prayer, you have questions, and don't forget to download our new single, Darlene and Sarah. That's my sister. My love song to Jesus, not available on all digital outlets. Amen. So pretty, such a beautiful masterpiece. Amen. Amen. I love you, but God loves you more. Join me every Sunday. Excited Life Christian Center Church Service Online, Facebook Live, 1 o'clock p.m. Amen. You can also get excerpts on YouTube. Come on, subscribe today. Amen. Amen. God loves you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, cause face to shine upon you. Wednesday, don't forget, 7.30 to 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, WMKM, 1440. Excite Life Christian Center, or it's Excite Life Radio Show. Amen. Amen, amen. And Darlene and Sarah TV Show, Comcast Sundays. Amen. East Oakland, Macomb Counties in Michigan, 8 a.m. Channel 90, Detroit, Michigan, 6.30 p.m. Channel 20, and daily on BGN TV, 
BGSTVGospel.com. Here we go to BGSTVGospel.com. That's Bell Global Network. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you, keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Give you peace. Give you peace. Be the glory and lifter of your head. The Lord bless you going out. You're coming in. You're lying down. You're rising. Breaking news from heaven. Everything gonna be alright. God bless you. I love you, but God loves you more. Oh, praise breaks. Thank you, Jesus. 9:30 nightly Facebook Live, 9:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on and join me. Joy, Pastor. Well, wait a minute. Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who else? Pastor Don. Intense praisers. I'll see you soon. Another day. God bless you.